What's up guys, Takedown here, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I have found at the flea market and picked up. It was pretty cheap, most of it. Uh, a lot of it's going to be added to my collection. I picked up three items. So two of them are going to be added to my collection. One's going to be used for videos. I can't wait to show you it. So let's just get right into it. Start off, you guys know I love hockey cards. I love collecting. So I picked up a jersey card in Ultra Un Uformity of Hendrik Sedin, 0809, so I love this. He recently retired, I haven't had a jersey card of him, I don't have many jersey cards to begin with. Seen it for $3, which normally they're between $3 and $4, I see most jersey cards now, um, 4 if I try to buy them online, so great price, great player, I'm glad I can add that to my collection. I also found this Jelly Belly Jelly Bean Machine, and I've never seen one that it all says Jelly Belly in the metal here. So to me, it looks original. I'm not 100% sure. It is heavy. It's not plastic. It's glass, metal, metal. It, it's, it seems like it's original in my opinion. Um, I did have a bigger one years ago or a couple years ago. One of the casts knocked it over and broke the glass. And I actually didn't know. My parents threw it top and bottom. And I went and I could have found a replacement ball, but they already tossed out the top and bottom, which I really wish they didn't have. But this is a smaller version. I paid $8 at the flea market for it. Normally, I've seen them before at the flea market. They're like $50 to $100. That's what they're charged at the flea market. So to find one for $8, well, I bargained. He wanted $10. I said $8. You can't help but bargain when you go to the flea market or yard sales. That's what that's what it's for, in my opinion. So, um, And to have a Jelly Belly one. Mine was just like a generic one. To have an actual Jelly Belly one, I can't wait. I'm going to add this to my collection. Put it higher up on the shelf so the cats, of course, can't get it. But as you guys know, I love collecting things. This is one thing I was looking for for a while. Smaller than what I would have hoped for, but it is great um, for me. And for only $8, why not? And the last thing I picked up, this was, by the way, last all one trip last Sunday I went, which I can't believe it. Normally I don't get anything, but I picked up three things. But for my videos, I picked up a little tripod. Um, I just use a little small one that I bought at work. For now, that's what I've always used, but this one's going to be helping me out a little bit more. I'm looking for one. Normally, I see anywhere from $30 to $50, and some can go up to $100. And I'm on a strict budget for the channel right now. Greatest thing about it is the attachment off my tripod that I'm using right now can screw onto here so I can put my phone on it. I can record my videos like that. It extends up to 60 inches, so I don't really need a table anymore, so I can film anywhere pretty much in the house or anywhere I take it. But I will still have to sit down like uh, I am right now to be able to record at a proper angle. I'm sure I can uh, tilt it to make it look like it's up in front of me, but it'll look better if it's uh, if I'm sitting for recording videos and that. So this here was ten dollars, only ten dollars. I tried bargaining. I tried saying five, no. I tried saying eight, no. I'm like, well, I'll just pay the ten dollars because I know what they're worth. Um, like I said, I know. It's you're supposed to bargain, but this was something it's like he's not budging. I'm, I'm not going to pass it up. It is slick compact. It looks because of the labels. It looks like it could be nine late 90s to early 2000s. But to me, I don't care. It's going to work for what I need it for. I've been looking for one for a while, but I didn't want to pay like 30 to $50 for one. Let's find one for $10. You got to jump on it. And that's what I did. So like I said, this is what I got, which is amazing for me. Comment down below what you guys normally go for. Do you guys hunt for anything specific? Do you guys try to bargain more than I would have? Would you guys have bought this stuff? Comment everything down below. I really like reading your guys' comments, and I will check out uh, everything and respond to everything. As I said, we are officially into spring. It's 15 degrees out today. It's getting warm. I'm going to be doing this a lot more. Not necessarily every week am I going to pick up stuff, but... Every week, or every Sunday that I'm off at least, I'm going to be trying going to the flea market. Every time there's a yard sale, I'm going to be trying to go to that, hit it up, see what I can find. I don't know if it's all over Canada or every town or city does this, but at least in my area, um, starting with the long weekend, my town does a yard sale day. So most people set up that day and have a yard sale if they do during the year. Um, you sell more stuff that day because everybody's having a yard sale. Most people will go around to all of them. And then every weekend after that, every town nearby has one. So we usually hit them all up as long as I'm off that weekend. So expect to see that. I'm hopefully going to find some stuff. I'm not going to take you along for the trip. 
but I'll share with you guys like what I did today. I'll share with you what I find. But anyways, I'll leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please leave a like, leave a like if you guys did like and enjoy this video because I will want to do more of these in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.